You guys are not gonna believe how beautiful Campeche is. We cannot wait to show you. Before we show you Campeche's beautiful colonial city, we're having some breakfast here at the local market. We have two dishes that are sort of typical to uh, Campeche. We have something that's called a franca, which is essentially a bigger version of a torta, which is a Mexican sandwich. We have relleno negro and uh, cochinita, which we tried for the first time in Cozumel, and we love it. The breakfast here are pretty intense. Like we saw people eating like whole fried fish and big pieces of chicken and obviously a pork sandwich is not usually what we would have for breakfast. But this market's awesome, it's super local. Like they're selling a lot of like meats and fishes and flowers and beautiful things. No tourist trinkets like we saw in Cozumel and Cancun. So definitely a different vibe. But I'm looking forward to digging in. This is delicious. I am so happy right now. This was the best decision to start the day eating at the local party. Very good. Now we can finally show you around Campeche. This is the area that we're going to be exploring today and this is a very accurate representation of how the city looks like today. This is the historic city center of Campeche and it's actually super small, super walkable area. It's very colorful too. The city is so photogenic and Campeche is actually nicknamed the Rainbow City here in Mexico, but there's so much history. As you can see, the, the city is walled. So it's surrounded by six walls that wrap around the city center and we'll explain more in the actual walls because you can go up and that's where we're heading next. We're now on top of the city walls. Campeche was first a really important city for the Mayans, but then the Spanish came and they conquered the city and it became a trade hub between this area of Mexico and Central America and the Spanish Empire. But pirates kept coming and sacking the city all the time. They came from sea, from land, kept on robbing Campeche. So the Spanish Empire finally decided to build this fort around the entire old city. But right when it was completed, the golden age of piracy ended. So there was no more use for the fort. So they started to tear it down. Uh, but right when they started tearing it down, they realized, oh, this is also a beautiful fort and it could also serve for like touristic purposes. So they started recreating it. So some of the fort is still like the original historic fort, uh, but some of it's also like a recreation. It's super hot here. It's noon, it's 95 degrees. And it's time for us to get out of here. We run out of water. So we need to get something fresh. You have to ring this bell so they open the door downstairs. This really cool spot is very popular. This is a street called Calle 59, which translates to 59th Street. And it's a very popular street in town. 
It's not where you would come to have a traditional Mexican experience, but they have a lot of healthy restaurants and smoothies and bars and trendy spots. It's really fun at night too because all the tables are outside. The street is close to traffic, so you can just sit and enjoy. And that's exactly what we're doing here for a little bit. Now that we cool down a little bit, we're walking through Calle 59 and this street is great for you to understand why Campeche is called the Rainbow City and I don't know if we mentioned this in the video but the uh, Campeche is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and so that means that the government kind of like controls like what color you paint like the front of your business and the front of your house so in this street and in like I, actually in all of the city center you will never see two houses or businesses painted the same color and yeah so we're gonna walk here for a little bit longer on the shaded side and then we're gonna head to another part of town that is like walking distance from here to show you a cathedral like a little museum there and a fun square Across the street from the cathedral, there's the town's main square. It's called Plaza de la Independencia. And on the other side of Plaza de la Independencia is Centro Cultural Casa Número 6. Casa Número 6 is an old colonial home, and you kind of get a sense of how like wealthier people used to live in Campeche. I love this style. I love like the open courtyard and the giant windows and the giant doors and all like the ocean air is just like floating through. But even though this place is beautiful, I think the most interesting thing is over here. So this is like a Mexican bingo game that's very popular in the state of Campeche and they still play it. And the numbers are all kind of associated with a different image. And back in the day when Campeche first got uh, telephone wires in the city, there were five digits for telephone numbers and they all started with five. But like the old ladies who all like played this game, instead of like saying the numbers, they would say the kind of image that it is associated with that number. So they go, oh, what's your phone number? And they'd be like, my phone number is Flamingo Hat. <laughs> I know it's really hard to tell from what you've seen of this video so far, but we have literally tried every single talking shot, except for this one. This one, this is the one that is going in the video. The other ones we have tried, I'm not lying, like at least 40 times. And we are exhausted. I don't know what's wrong with us today, but we're also super frustrated and we're not giving up on the video. We really are not. It's still 3 p.m. However, we really needed a break. Short break, but we needed a break. So we didn't just like stumble upon this place. We did kind of know about this, but these are Mexican botanos, botanas. Ah, okay, so it's like kind of similar to tapas in Spain, where if you order a drink, they just bring food. And this is our first round, and they brought all of this. Like the more you order, the better the food gets. Like you get like tacos and all sorts of great stuff. This is awesome. Like we also haven't eaten today, not that much. So we need this too. We're gonna stay here the whole day. I want to see what happens if you order like six beers. My 
dad always makes these beans with onions for me. And it's kind of comfort food and I already feel like hot. Everything's gonna be okay. Ready? It turns out after six beers you get a whole pig. <laughs> Let's continue the video. Let's continue the video. That was a joke, folks. We made it onto the tram. It's gonna be like a 40 minute tour around Campeche. Nice and relaxed for us right now. Yeah, that should we be should, nice. We should be able to see a lot of the things that we haven't seen yet, including the Malecon. We have not seen a sunset yet. The sunsets are supposed to be it's super be pretty awesome. here. So hopefully we'll get to see some of it. It's a little bit late, but with fingers crossed. When the tram is moving, it's super shaky, so we can't show it that much, but it's been pretty interesting. They drive through different neighborhoods that we haven't seen yet, and for people like me that are easily entertained by just like, seeing new things and seeing how people live, it's been pretty cool. We also drove past the Malacón. We kind of missed the sunset, so it wasn't like super spectacular, but it was still nice to see. It's a place that I'm sure we'll go back to because there's like tons of bars and restaurants around there and it was, seemed pretty full of life so it was cool to check out and now we have a five minute stop in front of this church. A lot of people are getting out to take pictures. We've already seen this one so we're not getting out but it's been cool. We're now heading outside of the city walls to a neighborhood called San Francisco where we're going to have some traditional Campechano foods for dinner. I'm hungry, let's go. We earn it. <laughs> we got some food. We are gonna close the video here. We are very, very tired and we're ending this day at this beautiful, like super famous restaurant. And we ordered some Campechano foods that we're gonna try. We're gonna try merienda. We are gonna try panuchos de cochinita and panuchos, like turkey panuchos. Very traditional from Campeche and yeah. We hope you liked the video. We hope it wasn't too crazy. Please let us know if you have any questions. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. That was a big bite. Okay. 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 Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs>